hey guys what's up i'm back i'm gonna try to do a talk through tutorial today uh my birthday is coming up this week so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna film something i'm i kind of have an idea of what i'm gonna do but i'm not quite sure i haven't done a talk through in a while but we're gonna we're gonna do this so first i'm gonna that thing that i waved in your face this is the clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion plus i'm gonna use this to moisturize so my birthday is, well, you're, you're seeing this on my birthday. I'm going to upload this on my birthday. But my birthday is this week. This is, today's Monday. Um, so my birthday is this week. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. Hello. Um, so my birthday is this Thursday. I'm not really doing anything super big. Uh, because one, I'll be working. And two, I don't really have anything planned. Next, I'm going in with the Lasting Smiles Organic Lip Balm in Peppermint Cream. You probably saw me talk about this not too long ago. Uh, I also hate this primer because it makes my hands so slippery and <laughs> I can't open anything afterwards. Because every purchase helps fund cleft surgeries for children. So, I love the way peppermint chapstick like tastes, you know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, my birthday's this weekend. This week, I'm not doing anything this weekend either because I don't really have plans. Next week, I'm going to New Paltz. Time out. I'm really bad at talk throughs. This is why I don't do them because I want to talk to you about what's going on in my life, but I also have to talk about the makeup I'm using and what I'm doing. And I just feel like I jump back and forth from one through the other and uh, we get lost. We get lost together. So, because I'm not really doing anything, anything big for my birthday, I'm trying to keep it like low-key you know uh makeup wise so i'm actually going to try to take inspiration from this pic by nikki tutorials she posted this on january 22nd i just think it's really pretty and glowy and still like glam but not too in your face so we're gonna try to do that just so you know i'm taking my trusty fit me concealer from maybelline this is the shade 15 fair i'm as you can see i am almost out of it pretty much I'm just using the Skirt Mineral Veil Powder. This is, doesn't exist anymore, I know, but it's all I have right now, and I really like using it, and it's vegan, and I love cruelty-free and vegan makeup. Well, it's Peruvian free I don't know if it's cruelty-free, but I'm guessing if it's vegan, it's probably cruelty-free. I think that's a fair exception. I'm going to zoom you in real close now. Hi, guys. Using my Morphe palette. Oh my god, we're so close, you can't see anything. But I'm going to be using my Morphe palette. I'm going to go in with these two shades. This is probably going to be more of like a crease transition shade. And this is going to be like the outer edge kind of deepening it up. I might hop into this shade above it too. I don't really know. This is the 35OM palette in case you're wondering. I love this palette. And I'm just putting this in the, the crease, this shade, this lighter shade, and I'm just buffing this out. This is a Lexi 205 brush. You know, I don't usually tell you what brushes I use because they're, I'm all over the place when it comes to brushes. This guy right here. Just to kind of neutralize it a little. Probably should go in with a clean brush, but you know how I feel about this brush. I could do my whole makeup, like all my makeup, with just this one brush. I'm kind of just extending this past my eye, like, to kind of... She, Nikki has more of like a straight um, shape for this eye look. It's not as curved to the eye as I would usually go. Usually I go like this, but I'm trying to go like out more to wing it out. So this is what we got right now. This is actually focus, focus. Hey, on me. There you go. Okay, so. Now, I am going to go into the darker shade I showed you earlier and darken the crease a little, kind of make that V shape, you know, like you're making a wing and bring it up into the crease a little and then kind of just bring it down. That's why I love this shape because it literally is just so easy. So if you don't know how to do makeup, you literally just bring it up, bring it there and just take the width of the brush and bring it down. And that's you darkening your crease. So my birthday gift to myself this year, I don't know what I'm going to give myself. And yes, I'm going to get myself a present. I don't know what it's going to be yet. It might be the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia. 
or that might be a Valentine's Day present for myself. I recently just bought um, the Coco collection from Kylie Cosmetics. This is my first time ever buying from Kylie, and I have to say I'm pretty happy with it. Actually, she's relaunching her Valentine's Day collection today. And I'm thinking about getting the, the mini lipsticks, but I don't know yet. I have so much lipstick, I really, I really don't need any more. You know? Which reminds me, I picked up new makeup wipes yesterday, which I'm really excited about to try, because I have really high hopes for them. Uh, what the F just happened? Where did you come from? Oh, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Okay. And this is why we do our eye makeup first before we do our foundation and all that. Um, if you, if you know me in real life, or maybe I've talked about it on my blog, I really don't even know, but, um, I take my, my makeup off with, uh, Pond's Cold Cream, and I have for, like, over a year now, because makeup wipes dry my skin out, and they leave, like, this film, and I don't really like the way they feel, and... I have makeup wipes, but I only use them for, like, times of crisis where, like, I'm swatching things or I've made a mistake or even, like, it's one of those days and I'm just, like, I don't feel like going through my eight-step cleansing process, which, side note, I'm thinking about making a video on that. I don't know yet, though. I'll let you know when I decide. When I have time to. <laughs> um, so I've been using Pods Cold Cream for a while and then I've just been, like, trying different makeup brand wipes every time I have to buy new ones because I can't find anything that I'm in love with. But yesterday at the grocery store, I saw a new product by Pons and it's makeup wipes. So I'm really excited about that. I really have any hopes that they're gonna work because I love Pons Cold Cream. It moisturizes my skin, it doesn't drive me out. Um, it takes off all the makeup so easily and it lasts forever because you only need a little bit and it takes everything off. I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier caviar stick eye color in the shade rose gold it looks like that and I'm gonna put this on the lid okay this is gonna be like my base so that's a nice base and you could totally leave leave it like this I mean if you really wanted to I mean I'm not gonna come to you and stop you I, I'm not gonna tell you how to do your makeup I'm just gonna go back in with this Luxie brush and kind of just blend this line out because I don't really like how harsh it is Welcome back. This is what you missed. I found the shade I was looking for. It wasn't in the Morphe palette. It's in the Blush Nudes palette by Maybelline, and it's this shade right here. This is what I was looking for. And then I just went in and I uh, blended more of that matte brown shadow out to kind of make it look good. So I'm pretty happy with my eyes right now. We're going to take a break from that, and we're going to go to skin. Um, today for foundation... I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade 03. This isn't my exact shade, but it's the closest shade that I have to my skin tone, if that makes sense. Also, I have nowhere to put this because I have a bunch of shimmer shades on my palette. Oh wait, I bought makeup wipes. So these are the Pond, Pond's uh, makeup wipes I was talking about, so we're going to Kind of test these out right now and see how I like them. They're like thick too. Ooh. And this is this one has um, chamomile and white tea extract in them. This is that's the kind that I got just because I again I thought that was the one that was gonna make my skin less irritated. That feels really nice and it smells really nice. Look at that. That's just all gone, all gone. And that's like a thick. That's a thick wipe, and it's big, so I, this looks really promising. Like, it doesn't feel like regular makeup wipes where, like, you feel that film, you know what I'm talking about, so that's great. All right, back to concealer. Taking some of this, get a pump. I only use one pump usually, maybe pump and a half, depending on what I'm doing. We'll see how I feel about this. Again, ugh. Not my exact shade, so remember that. It's going to look a little tan. I'm using a kabuki brush for this because I don't have anything else. I mean, I have triangle sponges because that was my thought process. Oh, I'll get triangle sponges. That way I can use one for concealer, one for contouring. But it just takes so long, man. See, that's not, it's not so bad. I guess I, it was a little overdramatic with that. 
I usually do my brows first, but now I'm trying to train myself to do my brows after just to so that way I could scope out what my brow shade's gonna look like depending on what my makeup is, you know, does that make sense? Lately I haven't been doing anything to my brows, I've been wearing them all natural because I feel like my brows look fine by themselves, like they don't really need anything. I'm gonna go with another half pump. I really like this foundation. Also, if you were wondering, it really covers everything up. It's a nice mousy texture and it's only $10 at your local CVS. You know? But I just wish they would expand their shade range. There's only 10 shades, I believe. And I, they're all pretty, um, they're all pretty, like, yellow toned, too, I believe. Though I could be wrong about that. I probably would be, I don't know, I'd have to check out their shade, too. Maybe that would work better for me. Um, because when I first bought it, I bought shade 5, which I was, I was, I don't know what I was thinking. I was hopeful that I was tan. And that was, this was during the summer when I bought this. So of course, the winter, my skin isn't as, you know. But like you see, you must see that it's like gone. It's like all gone. It really does, like, it's a nice full coverage foundation. That's, that's not so bad. But that if I just went in like with a regular, like with my finger instead of a brush. But yeah, this isn't a bad option. I really like it. Okay, for concealer today, because we're going for like a full coverage kind of look, I'm going to go in with the Bye Bye Under Eye It Cosmetics, the OG. I know they just launched the original. I have that review is actually coming out tomorrow. Um, I have a little bit of an issue with that one, but nothing like overly dramatic. Well, I guess it's just me being extra. Especially with this with this concealer, I would totally recommend using your finger just because it warms up the product and it makes it so much, like it really um makes it look so natural and so great. Like I just use a drop and I still have too much on my finger. Like you really only need the littlest bit of this. I don't highlight with the Bye Bye Under Eye just because it's so thick. If I'm gonna highlight, I'm gonna use my Fit Me because it's so much thinner. I'm using the same brush that I used to blend in my foundation so that way it's not as, as stark of a contrast. I heat little wool. I don't heat it. It just annoys me when girls do that. I'm just like, girl, it looks like you're using three different foundation colors. Like, I hate when girls, like, I don't like baking under my cheekbone too much because it's just like foundation, contour, bake. And it's like Napoleon ice cream. And I'm just like, what are you doing? What are you doing? So... That's my little thing on that. Now to set, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm just, again, I don't really bake. I'm just gonna go in with these first two shades, the yellow shade and the lighter shade, and I'm just gonna press that underneath my skin. I'm just gonna, honestly, I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and go back in with the Script Mineral Veil Powder and just set everything. I'm going to use the first two shades. Again, um, if it was my actual birthday and it was nighttime and I was going out, I'd probably use the last shade too, to be honest with you. Um, the contouring isn't really my specialty. I'm going to go with a smaller brush to kind of just really make that line. To really apply it. And then blend it out with a bigger one. So for bronzing, I'm going to use the Maybelline Mineral Powder Foundation. Um... It used to be that for bronzer and like, for bronzers it's really hard to find a matte bronzer. So I, so darker foundation powders are like the best in my opinion. Uh, because the only one I could really think of off of the top of my head is the Too Faced Matte Foundation, the Chocolate Soleil one. And I hate that one because I don't like the chocolate smell it has. I just think it smells, I don't like... I like Too Faced products, I want to say, but I, I can't really say that because I haven't used a lot of them, and a lot of the reason behind that is because I can't stand their scented stuff, and most of all of their products is scented to smell like peaches or chocolate or, you know, whatever the fuck it is, peppermint. I just cursed on my channel, that's, that's weird, that's a new one for me. Um, 
so I don't really use that so it's really hard to find a matte bronzer but if you're watching this you know that I just raved about the bomb cosmetics Bahama Mama bronzer that's the one I wanted to use today but I'm gonna use it in a video coming soon so I didn't but I love that bronzer the mellow cosmetics blush this is something I've been using for forever just because it's a really nice neutral shade it's in the shade bronze which is probably why I like it so much um, because a lot of the blushes I have are really pink and this is one of the only ones I have that is a blush from the back of my cheekbones like right here like my temples towards the front and I stop right before my apples on my cheeks because I have a this slims down the face more and I don't want to make my face bigger than it already is you know this is from Trustique I love Trustique if you didn't know this is a mini highlight stick um I don't know the shade of it is it Maldives luminescent or maybe that's just it in another language I don't know it's kind of like um a lit from within look it's kind of that focus that that nice sheen so I'm gonna go in with the NYX dewy finish I'm not I haven't really been in big with highlighters lately now I'm gonna zoom you in even closer and we're gonna do some brows now I have been using something foreign to me for a while now and it's still really foreign to me so I'm going to keep using it. It is the Milani, uh, Milani Stay Put Brow Color uh, in the shade 04 Brunette. This is what I'm using. It looks like this. Um, it's a little pot. And I'm very new to pomades. I haven't used a pomade before this before ever. So it's still taking me a while to get used to it. So I'm going to try to use it today on camera just because I feel like I need a fuller brow with this makeup look. And it comes with a brush too. It comes with this really cool dual ended brush that I actually really like with a spoolie on the end. Now we all know we have a good brow and a bad brow. Everybody does. If someone tells you they don't, they're lying to you. Right now I'm just kind of underlining it. I start in the back because that's where the most product is. And then I slowly work my way up. And now I'm just going to kind of flick and create little hair-like strokes in the front. And that's it. That's all there is to it. This is as good as this brow gets. I think the hardest part is the arch. You have to pretty much decide whether you want it rounded or like more pointed. And I don't like either. I kind of like an in-between round pointed. Let's take some serious concentration. Like you have to be scared to do your brows. If you're not scared when you do your brows, if you get comfortable with your brows, like I don't know, you might be doing something wrong because I'm never... Like, I personally believe that everybody should be terrified to do their brows. And if they're not, either they're A, lying to you, or B, their brows look terrible. I don't care if you've been doing your brows for however many years. You should always be scared to do your brows. Next, we're going to go in with some brow gel so that way they stay in place. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Um, I lost my eyelash curler, like, a couple of weeks ago, but I finally went out and bought a new one yesterday. This one's from Revlon. It's, like, $3 and change. So... Um, we're gonna see how well this works. For mascara today, I'm gonna go in with... I guess I'll go in with my Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. This I actually really do like. Um, I also really like the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, which is pretty much what I always debate what to go in between with. I also really like the Smashbox Full Volume Mascara, but I ran out of that. Go back in with my Morphe Matte Palette, the 35M Palette. And I'm going to use that same chocolatey shade that we used before. I am bleeding. What the heck is happening today? Kind of connect it to that wing and just bring it underneath my lash line. And I d never go all the way in. Like I leave my inner corner always blank just because I feel like that makes your eyes look smaller. So I kind of just 
and I taper it off like in the center of my eye. The NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Extreme Shine Eyeliner in black. I'm just gonna do my upper waterline of this. These ones are, I think, by JCat. They're in Nardell box right now because they're easier to keep in the Nardell box than the JCat box. But they look like this. Um, I'm currently using the lash glue from the J Cat lashes. Hold, please, while I try to fish this out. Um, it's really mini and it's tiny and it doesn't smell like anything and it really works because I'm almost positive I'm allergic to the lash grip glue. This one, I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to this. I don't know why, but I feel like every few times that I wear it, it makes my eyes puffy and itch. So I'm staying away from that and I'm using this. I think the most important part of applying lashes is making sure you have clean tweezers. Because if you have sticky crap on your tweezers, applying lashes is going to be ten times harder for you. Valentine's Day is coming up. I'm going to film two Valentine's Day looks. One like a soft romantic one. And the other one a sexy sultry one. And the sexy sultry one is going to be a lot more fun. So like girls who are single like moi. If you're just going out for Valentine's Day or just going out on Valentine's Day, you could still wear that look and not, like, have to be romantic about it. It could be glam AF. Also, I don't trust anyone who doesn't use their fingers to apply their lashes. If you, you know somebody who do, only do, uses their tweezers to apply lashes, don't trust them. Because you got to go in there and you got to make sure it's all pressed on and I think it's... I think you just have to use your fingers for at least like something when you apply lashes. If you use it for, if you don't use your fingers at all, I don't trust you. Nothing personal, just a rule I have. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Perversion mascara, and I'm gonna blend them together. I love the, I just love the wand on the Perversion mascara. Like, look at that. And I think the most important part when you blend is to focus on the outer and inner corner lashes. Because you want them to look, that's where you're going to notice the difference most. This is the Nudes palette by Maybelline. I'm just going to go in with this real quick in a small angled brush. And I'm just going to go over the lash band and kind of connect where my lash band ends. Because you don't want just like a black band and not anything else but see how that looks more seamlessly than that like it just there's the black line just stops where this it kind of just dies down a little bit in here right, this is the model co lip liner there's only one because it's supposed to like this pencil is supposed to make your lip easier to like overline your lips if you still want to do that if you want to do so I don't always use a lip liner, but I really like to because this is the best and easiest way to get the lip shape that you want if you are not sticking to your actual lip shape. So honestly, you could leave it at this if you really wanted to. But of course, I'm not. Um, so I recently just purchased the Coco Collection from Kylie and I'm going to go in with one of the shades. Um, you could totally use any color that you want with this look. This is a pretty neutral look. So you can pretty much go with anything. Um, but because I'm trying to keep it more low-key, I'm going to kind of go with a low-key color. And I'm going to go with Clo Money. This is, I love this packaging. I love it, love it, love it. Let me know what else you want to see. Let me know if you want to see my skincare routine. Uh, that's something that is one of my New Year's resolutions if you know to try to like create one and stick to it. And so far it's been pretty good. I've been pretty good at sticking to it. Um, let me know what makeup you want to see me buy because I have, I have some money that I could spend now. Which is super exciting and something I'm not used to. Um, so 
what should I get for my, myself for my birthday or Valentine's Day? What should I treat myself to? Let me know what you're loving right now so I could check it out. Um, also, I'm really looking to buy something from ColourPop. I've been, I've heard great things about ColourPop and I've never purchased anything from them. So if you have any ColourPop suggestions, leave them down below because I want to buy from them so bad. I just don't know where to start. There's so many things on the website. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and until next time guys, stay golden.